Hey folks, it's Antara, and I am back with a new black and white battle. Um, my opponent today is Nexi's Otaku, who I met on the Quidzat. Um, just a standard OU battle, and looking at his team, I see some reasons to worry. It's obviously a rain team, he's got a Latias, and I freaking, I always get nervous when I see one of the Lati twins. Um, but so anyway, he leads off with his Rotom wash form, which is excellent because I laid off with my Jufro, and I'm thinking that it might be Scarf, so I'm gonna go ahead and cripple it with a Sun Spore. Um, then he could have always tricked me, that would have been awful. But instead he decided to Volt Switch out of there. Um, even if it's a defensive Rotom, uh, Rotoms don't like to be paralyzed. So, um, yeah, it does a lot of damage to me. Um, and he switches out his uh, Tornadus, I think? Um, anyway, I'm going to switch out because it also has Prankster and it's faster than me, I think. Um, anyway, it's going to go ahead and taunt. Um, which, not the best thing for Jirachi, um, but not the worst thing either since it has two attacking moves. He goes ahead and switches out his Rotom Wash form again. I go ahead and uh, Psy Shock it. It does eh, not that much damage. I mean, Rotom is pretty bulky, and it is in fact the leftover set. I go ahead and use Doom Desire. Not exactly sure why. I think he might be the um, physically defensive set. And you know, Doom Desires are always nice. Um, my taunt wears off, I go for the Calm Mind, um, so hopefully I'm going to be able to do some damage to this guy with a little sweepy sweep. Um, he's paralyzed, he gets the Parahax a lot, I'm sorry about that, but um, it, it's the way the cookie crumbles, it's the way the game works. I go ahead and go for another Calm Mind, just figure, get my stats up as high as possible, I don't think he can really do much to me. Oh, fine, he's going to use will o -Lift. I don't have a Cleric on this team, which might be a mistake. Um, but, what else? I go ahead and, uh, here comes the Doom Desire. Doesn't do anything, because it's resisted, of course. I was kind of expecting him to switch. Um, but also, his, his defenses are pretty good right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the side Shock. I think I'm either at plus two or plus three, I kinda lost count. And that's gonna do a good amount of damage due to the crit. Sorry about the crit. Lame crit. But, it's not like he could've really done anything to me. I have the wish. Um, and I probably wasn't going anywhere. He goes ahead and sends out his, um, Politoed, and obviously the drizzle is obvious. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Psy Shock. I just want to kill that bastard. Um, I have no way to, you know, stop the weather from happening or get the weather back to the nice, you know, clear skies, but, um, I can at least kill this thing. Um, I'm surprised at how little it does, but then again, you know, I haven't invested anything in my Jirachi's special attack, so the only boosts that I get um, from, his, from its special attack are from those um, Calm Mines. Anyway, second Hydro Pump. I survive because Jirachi is a freaking beast, um, and also is at plus two um, spec death. Uh, and my burn does not kill me, which is really nice. I go for the Doom Desire here, um, thinking that this guy's going to be gone pretty soon, and I don't... Oh yeah, he goes for the Encore here, which is like, oh, well that's not particularly good for me. Um, so I get I'll go ahead and get my health back, um, yeah, some leftovers recovery, which is badly needed, um, yeah, I mean, Jirachi is pretty much impossible to kill, um, I mean, that's not true at all, it, if you have a super effective, um, earthquake, that's probably gonna do it, but anyway, I go ahead and switch and puff my magic Dragonite, um, uh, get hit by a Hydro Pump, but thanks to Multiscale, isn't gonna do anything and Doom Desire is going to hit eventually. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw here. I'm a little bit surprised that I'm faster, um, but that's kind of awesome. Anyway, Ice Beam, I'm kind of fearing, um, but Bulky Dragon... No, it does kill me. Ah, darn. Okay. Well, 4x effective is 4x effective. Um, anyway, here comes the Doom Desire, and I think that is finally going to take out this freaking Politoed. No, it's not, because it resists it. Man, I am just not having a good day here. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and send my Jufro right back out. Gonna go for the Giga Drain. Um, I was pretty grateful he didn't switch, um, because had he switched, uh, that Giga Drain could have potentially done nothing. Maybe I should have gone for the Stun Spore, but I didn't want to get hit by an Ice Beam and have another of my Pokemon taken out. So he goes ahead and sends his Ganta right back out. I'm gonna go ahead and call it back. Gonna go ahead and go, uh, go send an HTHB. He's gonna hit me with Acrobatics with a Flying Gem. Um, Flying Gem Acrobatics just kind of seems pointless to me, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, fine, it does the same amount of damage before and after. So he's going to go ahead and taunt me, preventing me from Shell Smashing, but I was kind of predicting that. And so I go for the Rock Slide, super duper effective. Okay, not, uh, I use that for 4x four, uh, effective um, when I say super duper effective. It was only 2x effective, but it's enough to KO because HCHB, my... Um, Caracosta is a freaking beast. He goes ahead and sends out Latias, and I'm like, oh, man, okay, he, so he goes ahead and sets, sets up sub, 
Uh, I go ahead and go for the rock slide. I figure, you know, let's do as much damage to the thing as possible, not let it set up, um, you know, make it pay for you know, anything it tries to do. Um, but whatevs, uh, this is going to be long and drawn out, I fear. Um, except for he goes ahead and goes for the Dragon Pulse, which I think... Take no, it does not take me out because I haven't had any uh, defense drops. Uh, anyway, go for the, uh, another Rock Slide. Does a lot of damage thanks to the fact that I get a crit. So yeah, I'm getting a lot of crits in, that, in, in this match. Not necessarily the best thing ever, um, and I apologize. Uh, my taunt wears off. I go ahead and call back HCHB because I know that if I pass a wish from Jirachi, I can potentially get a nice setup going. Um, anyway, he goes for the Dragon Dance. Doesn't do that much to me. I can pretty much wall this guy. I figure, you know, he... If, even if he runs Hidden Power Fire, why would you do that in the rain? Um, and if he runs Hidden Power Ground, maybe that would hurt me? Anyway, he goes for the recovery here. And now, okay, I'm warning you, you might want to skip ahead like a minute or so because this is kind of boring and stally. Um, I'm going to go for the wish. Uh, he's going to get some get some recovery. Um, really, maybe I should have sent out my Taunter. Maybe this would've, that would have sped this stuff up, but whatever. Um, he's going to go ahead and go for the Substitute, uh, and I think I'm going to go for the Com- No, I go for the Doom Desire here, uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I get my Wish up, and, uh, that recovers me back to almost, you know, more than half. Um, so, I really don't think that this guy can do anything to me. Um, almost certainly, uh, he's going to run the Calm Mind, but, um, as long as I run Calm Mind on my end as well, uh, he can't do anything to me, because he's not gonna, you know, his special attack's gonna be boosted, my special de uh, defense is gonna be boosted, so barring any crit situations, we should be okay. Um, so yeah, uh, get some more leftovers recovery, um, the burn damage is really, uh, annoying, but it's not really... People burn my Jirachi all the time, it seems like, but it really doesn't hurt me too much because of those witch wishes, and because Jirachi is so freaking hard to kill. So yeah, uh, second Calm Mind, um... He takes the Doom Desire. I'm pretty sure that breaks his sub. Not 100% sure, but... Okay, yeah, it breaks his sub. Um, so, yeah, uh, get my wish back up. And again, I'm really sorry. I know this is really, really boring, but I promise you that this stall part is going to end. You can always fast forward in the battle. Um, I guess, you know, if this video ever gets enough views, I'll see that on my, you know, YouTube Insight, the hotspots or whatever. Um, anyway, he goes ahead and swaps out at this point, sends out his Scar Chain, um, his, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Ferrothorn, uh, and I don't remember if I switched out here, I think I, I really hope that I just got at least one attack out against him, um, but yeah, I go ahead and go for the Psy Shock just to see how much it does, and the answer is not at all, nothing at all, and it's like, what are you serious, and he's gonna go ahead and curse now, and I'm like, seriously? So that's gonna boost his defense, uh, and his attack, and lower his speed, so if he gyro balls me, that's gonna hurt, I guess, although I resist it. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I guess he could leech seed me, and that would not be good news. Um, but, so I go ahead and go for another wish, um, really thinking that I'm gonna pass it more than anything. Uh, he goes ahead and goes for the second curse. Um, yeah, this is kinda of stally at this point still, even though he's switched Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I just want to get the best setup situation possible for whoever either gets taken, uh, you know, whoever comes out after Jirachi, so that I can actually deal with this guy. So yeah, here I go ahead and call back and send in my Tachikoma, my, um, Rotom Heat Form. He goes ahead and goes for the Gyro Ball, which I resist. And even in the rain, I'm really hoping that, considering that it's 4x weak to overheat, I'll be able to take it out. Um, although, uh, you know, a switch is obvious, so I'm trying to remember whether I predict the switch. So he goes ahead and sends out his Latias, and I, yes, I do predict the switch, an excellent move on my part, and, uh, Shadow Ball hits like a mofo, um, gets him down to pretty low HP, and I'm gonna go ahead, oh, he goes, goes ahead and swaps out, I'm obviously locked in, um, and so he sends out his, um, mm, Terrakion, um, Terrakion, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call back. At least I got a lot of damage on the switch. I go for my, set out my Cosmic F, who's gonna resist the obvious Stone Edge. Um, my Cosmic F, my Hitmon top, and I'm gonna be able to easily take him out with a Revenge, I think. Except for he switches, um, into his Scar Chain. Um, and I don't think that means, oh, you know, I go for the Bullet Punch here, um, because that's also super effective, and I figured he'd be faster. Um, yeah, so does probably as much damage to me as to him. And I'm going to go ahead and just fodder my Cosmic F at this point. Um, I don't think he's going to set up entry hazards at this point, because I, if he was going to, I, I feel like I would have seen it by now. So he goes ahead and goes for the curse. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and go for the revenge, which at least is technician boosted, if not you know, having its power doubled. And it actually does a fair amount. Yeah, again, iron barbs. Again, I'm just hoping that... I think I'm just waiting for a free switch at this point. Um, because I don't want to overpredict. He goes for the gyro ball, um, but Hitmon top is pretty darn slow. Oh, uh, that's a fair amount of damage, but this is going to be now uh, base 120 instead of base 90, and I managed to take out his Star Chain, although it sac I, I sacrificed my Cosmic Death as well. Um, and so, yeah, so doubling down, as they say. So I go ahead and send out my Jufro as he sends out his uh, Terrakion, and this is going to be excellent for me. I predict this switch right here. I think. Maybe I go for the Giga Drain. Yeah, I go for the Giga Drain. Uh, not the best thing in the world, but it doesn't matter because I have priority, so I'm going to be able to taunt this uh, this dude, and I'm not going to have to fear anything. Um, yeah, so a little bit of leftover recovery on both sides. I go ahead and go for the taunt. No recovers. No um, substitutes for him. Yeah, he went for the recover. I guess thinking that I was going to switch out. I mean, you know, taunt from a, uh, from a Whimsicott is fairly obvious. Anyway, he goes ahead and sends out his ter uh, ter Terrakion. Um, I decided to go ahead and go for the Stun Spore because whoever went out, I, Stun Spore is good for me. I go ahead and go for the Giga Drain. Uh, I believe that's going to take him out, and I also believe that's going to recover me back to full health, which is awesome because now my Focus Sash is intact, and when he sends out, I believe this is his last Pokemon, his Latias, um, I'm going to be able to go ahead and taunt him. He's obviously going to predict the taunt, and is going to go for the Dragon Pulse, and I'm just really hoping he gets me down to 1 HP, because then I can get off an Endeavor for the win. Obviously not actually for the win, but unfortunately Jufro survives with 65 HP. I'm like, are you serious? What the heck? Um, yeah, uh, so I only get him down to 65 HP, that means. Although I'm actually impressed at how much HP um, Ladias actually has, but it actually did some good. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send in Tachikoma here. I'm uh, going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball, and I believe that is the game. So, yep, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Uh, great game, Nexus Otaku. If you ever want to battle me again, let me know. Also, I believe, I'm actually 100% positive that Nexus Otaku uploads battles to his channel. I'm subscribed to him, and you should be too. So, yeah, go check it out. So long, folks.